Hey guys, welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to open a door using a key. So to be able to open the door, you have to obtain a key somewhere else in the level. And if you don't have the key, you can't open the door. So to do this, I'm just going to simply put in the assets I want. So I'm going to be using the start content door, which is in start content, props, and sm underscore door. I'll just put that in here, like so. Maybe scale it up a bit, like that. And then I'm also going to be using an asset that I downloaded off of blendswap.com which I'll link in the description below which is just for a key. So you're just going to want to simply drag and drop that in like so. And again you can do this with your own static meshes and your own assets for the door and the key but you should already have those. I'm just showing you how this all works. So close that and now you can see I have that key as well. So now I'm going to create a blueprint for this key. So if I right click blueprint class and then get an actor. I'm going to call this front door key BP. And obviously you can call it whatever you want for whichever door this is for. But obviously it's good to keep them all organized unless it's just a key for all of the doors, that's fine as well. So you're going to want to open that up and then add a new static mesh and add your key as this static mesh like so. And then as he's made this, he hasn't centered it correctly, so I'll just move this over to be in the center of the blueprint, like so. That should be good. And I might make it a bit smaller, as that's quite big. So I'll set it to 0.5, put it back in place, and this should be good. Again, you can just make this perfect for your own static mesh. And I'm also going to have it so it's laying down, like so. But again, customize this for your own models. So then after that, we're going to Want to add another component, so add component and get a box collision, like so. Put this in position and then just scale it up to cover the key, like so. And this is what the player is going to be inside of to be able to open up the key. So you want to scale this to as big as you want for the player to be able to pick it up. So I think that's good for me. And to be able to test this to make it look better, to see what it's going to look like in game, you just simply drag and drop that blueprint in. So this is quite big, it's still, so I'm just going to resize it in here, like so. So it's a lot bigger than it needs to be, but this is just for a tutorial purpose to see what it looks like and just to get the functionality behind it working. So go back in the blueprint and go to the event graph now. And what we're going to want to do is get a begin and end overlap event for this box collision. So add on component begin overlap and add on component end overlap like so and then before this let's close that go into the project settings so edit project settings and we're going to add an interact hotkey so go down to input go into action mappings and create a new one and call it interact or whatever you want and I'm going to set this to the E key so you just search for E and find it like so and close that and go back into the blueprint. So what I'm doing right now is just setting up the interactable part of the key. So if you want another more in-depth video on how to do this and how to interact with different objects, you can watch the video which is on screen now. So now we're also going to want to reference that action mapping we just made. So just search for interact, whatever you named it, and it should be there. And then off of the pressed, we're going to want to get a gate like so. That goes into enter. And then for open, we're going to want to the begin overlap and the close is the end overlap. And what this basically does is if you press the interact key while you're in the box, then it will fire off the code. If you press it while you're out of the box, it won't fire off the code. After this, we're gonna want to set a variable. So let's create this variable down here in the bottom left like so. So I'm just gonna call this got key, but I'll call it got front door key as that's what this key is for. So again, just to keep it nice and organized so you know which one does what. And make sure that is a Boolean and have the default value as unticked, so not true. And then off of exit, we're gonna to want to set got front door key, like so, and set it to true. And also just destroy this actor, so the key is gone, so it's like you've picked it up, like so. And that should be that done. And obviously you can add sound effects as well if you want, for when it picks it up, and all this other good stuff, you just put it in here. So for a sound effect, you just do play sound at location. For the location, you'd simply just get a reference to the static mesh that you have and get world location, like so, and then just plug the location into there. And you can pick whatever sound you want. I'll just choose the camera shutter just to make sure it works as I don't have a sound effect itself. And that should now be that part done. So now we're gonna to wanna to close this and create the matinee for opening the door itself. So make sure you have the door selected under cinematics and add matinee legacy. And just minimize this so that you can still see the viewport 
like so. Make sure you have the door selected again. Right click in the empty tracks column and add new empty group, call this whatever you want. I'm gonna call it front door. And then in that, right click again and add a new movement track. And then make this the length of the timeline that you want for how fast or slow you want the door to open. So I'm gonna make it take two seconds now if I go up here and just add on the snap as well up there, then that means it should snap to two seconds like so. And drag the green there as well. And then drag the white bar or the black bar at the bottom down to the front and add a keyframe. And drag it to the end and in back in the viewport, put the door in the open position that you want and add another keyframe. If you press play, you can see that the door opens like so easy enough and that's that part done we just save that and close it let's minimize this again and then go up to the level blueprint so blueprints up here and open level blueprint now on this i'm going to get the interact key again and then off pressed get a cast to the blueprint we just made for the key mine being front door key bp like so and the reason i'm doing this off of the interact action it's so that it's not doing it every second like it would off a vent tick or faster than that sorry it's just doing it simply for every time we press e because that is the only time we would be able to be trying to open this door because if you're trying to open the door you'd press e to do that so that's why i'm using the interact action instead of a vent tick or anything like that so then as the object you want to get off you're going to want to go off it and get parent actor like so and just move that over there and then off the cast to front door key bp we're going to want to get a branch like so as a condition we're going to want to get the variable we created so i'm just going to check to see what that's called got front door key so as a condition we're going to want to have that so we'll go off as front door key bp get got front door key and just simply plug that into the condition of the branch like so and then if we do have this we're going to want to open the door so we're going to do the door code after this which again i have more in-depth videos on which will be on the screen now but i will also show you how to do it in this one so what we're going to want to do is create another box collision so we'll go back into the viewport here and search for a box trigger like so put that in front of the door and scale it up to how big you want it to be so that again the player is in this box and that's where they can open the door I think I'll have it that big. So we open the level blueprint and we're gonna to want to get a reference to that box trigger. So again, the get event begin overlap and the end overlap like so. And this is gonna be very similar to picking up the key. So we're also gonna to want to get the interact and then off of this, go into a gate like so. Plug the begin into open and the end into close like so. Move this up here a bit like this and what we're actually going to do get rid of this interact here and put this over here so again this only checks to see if you can open the door when you're trying to so this is just a more efficient way of doing it than how it was before we'll move this back down here and then from the exit go into the cast like that and just move this back over like so so now back down to here off of the true we're going to want to just simply play the animation for opening the door. So then off of the true, we're going to want to get a flip-flop, which toggles between two different states, i.e. A and B. So then we're going to want to get a reference to the matinee actor that we created. So we'll minimize the level blueprint and just simply drag and drop a reference of the matinee actor into the level blueprint, maximize this and drag off of it and get a play and a reverse. And the reverse is for closing. So the A is going to go into play and B into reverse. And then again, you can put a sound effect after this. So just simply play sound at location, plug that into both or have a different one if you want a different sound effect for opening and closing. Again, I don't have one, so I'll just do the camera shutter again. And then for the actor location, we'll just simply get the, get the matinee actor. So get actor location and plug that into there. Now, if you're gonna do it that way, you're gonna to want to make sure that your matinee actor is with the door as well. Now you can do it with the key, but we are going to be deleting the key as well. So we don't wanna be trying to do that. And also one quick change here, we've put this variable Boolean into condition. What we need to actually do is see if it's true. So we'll drag off of that again, equals equals. So again, equal Boolean, plug that in there and we'll set it to true, so tick that. This is saying that if this boolean is true, then it will fire off this code. So that should now be done. So if we hit compile and close this to test it. So if we were to walk over to the key, press E, 
or your interact button, you see it's not working. Now the reason for that is we haven't enabled the input in this blueprint, which you might not always need to do, but in this case I do. So I'll go off event begin play and enable input like so. And as the target, I'll simply, and as a player controller, I'll simply just get player controller like so. And so we'll just do the same in the level blueprint as well, just in case. So we'll get event begin play like this and just simply enable input. And this just allows the player to be able to communicate in all of this and have the input for the action mappings as well. So simply just get player controller again, like so. So now if we compile, close this to test it, hit play, we can walk over to the door, hit E, and you see nothing's happening, it isn't opening. And if we walk over to the key, hit E, that worked, so it picked up the key, destroyed the actor so it's no longer here, and played the sound effect as well and it should have set the boolean variable as well. So if we try to open this door, see I'm pressing E, it isn't working, even though we've already picked up the key. And to fix this, we just simply need to change the casting because this doesn't work. The cast here is failing. So we'll just delete this like so, and then go back and delete this, and we're just gonna have to set the key boolean in a different blueprint. So we're just going to do it to the third person character instead. or well, the first person is just basically your character. So back in the front door key BP, or well, the blueprint for your key, we're going to want to go off of the exit, off the gate, and cast to your character, mine being the third person character. And then as the object, we're going to want to get player character, like so. So then we're going to want to close this and open up the third person character, or just your character, so mine's third person BP. And then variables, set a new one called got front door key or whichever key you want. It's just essentially the same variable we created in the key blueprint, like so. So then go back into the key blueprint and drag off as third person character and just set that variable we just created, mine being got front door key or front key door, I did that wrong, but that's fine. And it's just the same as what it was before. We need to make sure that we compile this like so, and there we go. So again, it's just the same as what it was before, but there's just an extra step here of going to the third person character, just so that it all works out perfectly. So I'm going back to the level blueprint and off the exit from the gate, I want to cast back to the character again. I'm being third person. Again, the object is the get player character, like so. And then that's third person character. We're gonna get that key variable like so. And again, just plug it straight back into that equals boolean like it was before. Plug this all back up, hit compile, and now this should work. So if we close this down and hit play to test it, and walk up to the door, and it doesn't work, we can't open it. Go to the key, and we can pick that up. It works out perfectly. It plays a sound effect, and it moves it. It removes it from the world, and it should have set the variable to say that we have a key, meaning we can now press E on this door and it opens it up perfectly like that. So again, it played the sound effect and opened the door and we can walk through. And we can keep opening and closing this if we wanted, as long as we have the key on us. And if you don't want to be able to close it, you just simply take out that reverse there, like so. So again, hit play, can't open it, pick up the key, we can. And now you also can't close it. So it is playing the sound effect again, but that's just because we have that going from there. So you could just destroy this whole actor after you've done that. But I'm not gonna bother with that. So I'll just get that all back in. And this works perfectly. So I think that'll be it for this video. I've got it to do everything I want it to do. If we go up to the door, we can't open it. But if we find the key, we can pick that up. And then if we go back over to the door, we can now open and close that door as much as we want just as long as we have the key on us. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.